What's up guys, it's Kay Jones coming at you with another video. This video is going to be about the old school RuneScape clan Cobras, how to join the clan, what are the requirements, and if you're already in the clan, this video is going to provide you some really good extra information. <music> Alright guys, so many of y'all are like wondering, how do I join this clan and why should I join it? Well, the Old School Runescape clan update just happened, so I'm sure there's going to be some new adjustments and changes, so you may need to look up a recent video on how to access Old School Runescape clans. As of today, it is May 29th, 2021. So all the information that I provide you in this video is going to be current for this time period. So why should you join? Well, I think Cobras is a really relaxed clan compared to most. Um, we have pretty relaxed requirements, so you require 1400 total level, which is very simple to get. It doesn't matter what kind of account you are, although half of every clan member right now is an Iron Man, because I have a maxed Iron Man, and that's where all my YouTube content was revolved around. And you know we've got some ultimate and hardcore Iron Mans, but the other half are main accounts, so we kind of go to an entirely broad base of accounts on old school runescape and you know you don't have you're not we don't necessarily have brand new players but we have newer players because 1400 total level is still like a lower requirement and you know it's 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 a fun environment we don't really have a lot of toxicity because as soon as somebody seems disingenuine or they're just not enjoyable to be around or they're toxic well they're kicked and banned from this clan chat but you know if we're, it's all fun and we have a really good atmosphere, then it's a really great time. And, you know, we teach bossing and raids. Um, for raid requirements, it depends on the person who's bringing you or teaching you raids. And that's for really high-level content. And then also, if we get more main accounts in the clan, which I think there already are enough, you know, we can y'all can do, like, bossing at God Wars Dungeon and things like that. And, you know, it's a great place to ask questions. Of course, there's always the Wikipedia to look up RuneScape stuff, but sometimes it's just nice to have friends to talk to. And I really think Cobras is a really perfect environment for that because we're not, we're really laid back social clan. And yet there is bossing and there are raids and there is Iron Man content and just basically anything you could ever want. There is no specific combat level requirement, so it is only 1400 total level. If you don't have that, I wouldn't stress about it. Um, you can private message me on my Instagram account or Twitter account, which I'll put at the very end of the video and ask also in the description below. Okay guys, so I am on my alternate account, Ben Kenobi. Um, <laughs> sorry, if you're a Star Wars fan, you would get that reference. But how do you join Cobras? So if you go down to the new clan system, it's kind of confusing. You have these three tabs at the top. You have chat channel, your clan, and you have you and other clan. The best way to get into Cobras and to join is to click find, type in the name Cobras, and it's going to be searching, and then it will say, you're not currently chatting in this clan's chat channel. Go ahead and click chat. And once you do that, it will bring you into the clan chat channel. So the best way to talk in this channel is to basically put three lines and put test or something like that, I guess, and it will have you talking in Cobra's clan chat. Now, the reason why it's three lines is because like there's these three different colored smileys and it's the third one and you're a guest. Um, and so that's why you need three. But if you can also do slash green for the color green and then test and you can talk. Now, if you do slash B, you will be in, um, or sorry, slash C, you'll be in your clan chat, stuff like that. There are certain ways to trigger the chat, but I'm not going to go into that too much. But three slashes to talk or slash G for green, and you can talk as a guest in Cobras. Say, you know, that you want to join Cobras, and we'll get you through the process to officially become part of the clan. All right, guys, so now we're going to be going over the rules in Cobras. Um, they're pretty self-explanatory. I mean, like, treat others the way you want to be treated, stuff like that. But I'm going to go over them anyway. Number one is no toxicity. Kind of talked about that to begin with. Two, no sexism, racism, or being homophobic. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Three, follow game rules and do not talk about breaking the old school runescape game rules. Four, change your Discord server nickname to your game username. Right-click and select change name in the Discord. Um, number five, 
If you say you're splitting loot with another clan make member, make sure you split it. If you don't, you'll be removed from the clan permanently and be put on RS Justice. Basically, if you say you're splitting, you're splitting. That goes for raids and bossing. And if you do decide to split within the clan or something like that or loan your equipment, basically do that at your own risk. Um, it's not a Cobra's liability if you loan equipment and then someone scams you. I mean, we'll ban them and put them on RS Justice, but that's all we can do. Um, and as for you that are interested in the Discord information, you need to be recruit rank and up to be able to have access to the Cobra's Discord channel. Now, I know I seem like I went over the rules really fast and was kind of nonchalant about it, but I take them to heart. I don't believe in online bullying. I don't believe in being mistreated because if you're thinking about it, we're playing this game for fun. And if you're not having fun in the environment you're in, then there's something wrong with that, you know. And I don't feel like the rules are almost necessary because the people that are higher up in Cobras and have been in uh, this clan a long time kind of already can stop, can spot the people who are not enjoyable. They're trolling and it's almost considered bullying. And it's just, it's just toxic and vicious and it's almost like you don't even need rules to see that you just remove them but it is nice to have some guidelines so i wanted to go over them but i definitely take you know it to heart and i think y'all should too and i just want it to be a fun environment a little runescape family and i just want to reiterate that all right so now we're going to be going over the ranks and the clan and this is subject to change but as of this date this is how it's going to be within the cobra's clan chat. All right, so let's start. Guest is the start, and basically if you're a guest, you're just hanging out within the chat, chilling with Cobras, and you're not yet officially a clan member, and you may never want to become a member, but you enjoy hanging out with us. A dog's body is the next rank, and it is the lowest rank out of all of the ranks. Basically, you're a new member, clan member, and you've been in the clan for less than a month. You're brand new. You're testing the waters. Um, and you're wanting to become a long-term clan member and you're just trying to meet some friends and, you know, just find a nice place to stay um, within the community. The next is a gamer. The gamer rank is not technically a rank. It's just basically a way to label, hey, this is someone's alt account. So it means a clan member who's already in a clan or in the clan and they have an alternate account, but it's not their main account. There's a good possibility that that person who's on that alternate account, actually their main account in the clan is like a marshal or something like that and is a really high ranking member. So although they're not on their main account, they can easily log on and, you know, kick people or do whatever's necessary that needs to be done. The recruit rank is right after dog's body and basically it's a clan member that's been in the CC from one to two months and is starting to really get comfortable. A peon is basically right above recruit and it's a clan member that's been in for about one to three months and is relatively active during the time period. Corporal is the next rank and it's a clan member that's been within two to three months. It's They're relatively active and they sometimes come and go. Um, a novice, which is next above corporal, is somebody who's been in the clan member for about four to five months and they're of course relatively active and you know, they're all about Cobras and they're going to the events and everything like that and starting to really get active in, in clan activities. A novice is somebody, a sergeant is a CC member that's been around for six months and who's relatively active, very kind, uh, tends to almost go to all the events they can when they're online and is genuinely highly respected and uh, answers a lot of questions to that the lower ranks ask and whatnot. All right, guys, so next we're going to be getting into the higher division ranks of the clan. So for first, we'll go with Lieutenant Rank, which is the Bronze Star. They definitely deserve a star and that they really stand out compared to the other clan members and they're genuinely really helpful. And they're, you know, anybody in this kind of star rank is able to invite people into the clan, uh, new members and things like that. And that applies to Lieutenant, Captain, and General Ranks. So anyway, let's go to the captain rank. They're an active member, very trustworthy, very kind, and been in the clan for about eight months. Um, a general is a, an active member who has the potential to get an administrative rank, which is anything that's above that administrator line you see. 
Um, that's what I'm considering the general to be eventually. And they often raid and host events and they answer a lot of questions and they've just been in the CC for a really long time and they're really, really high respected and they're next in line for that administrative rank. Um, we're gonna go to the Colonel next. Uh, Colonel, I didn't really get uh, go in depth with. It's the first administrative rank. You're kind of the baby of the administrators. You can kick people. You can invite clan members. You're kind of like the police. Um, your job is to make sure that if there's any jerks, you remove them. And that's the, the start of your first admin rank. Brigadier, they've been in the clan for over a year and um, some attributes to the previous rank, but they're, they're more active than, than usual. Next, you have um, an admiral. Admiral is heavily respected. You're, you're good to the point where you're just the top dog in the clan and people go to you immediately and then you can contact me. I'm really close with admirals, marshals, and deputy owners. I'm even pretty close with colonels and brigadiers, actually. This, these kind of ranks are arbitrary based on who, who's most trusted and who's been in the clan the longest. But Admiral, you have the potential to be a Marshal. And if you're a Marshal, you have the potential to be a Deputy Owner. And the Deputy Owner has all the power to do anything to the clan that I have. Um, they have a silver key. And basically, if you're a Marshal, I consider you almost a Deputy Owner. It's just that I can't have a bunch of Deputy Owners and there's just not enough spots, you know. Usually for Deputy Owner, depending on the size of the clan, sometimes there's only going to be two. But if the clan keeps growing, there's going to be more. And when you see a marshal and an admiral, you know that they're almost the same quality to be a deputy owner. It's just that, like I said, there's not enough room to give all the ranks in the world. This is just an online game. And at the end of the day, ranks are not, you know, it's, it's, it's not a hierarch hierarchical, hierarchical, I can't spot, structure. It's more of like, okay, who is committed to Cobras and who is kind and trustworthy and who can help me? That's more of what it is, and it's just more of loyalty and fun and who's genuine, who's kind, who's going to help, who's the better person, you know, stuff like that. So uh, what we're looking for with these ranks is character more than anything. So, but yeah. Well, guys, I hope this video answered some questions for current CC members and also, you know, for people who are looking for a RuneScape clan. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that you enjoy Cobras if you decide to join. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to my channel to be updated for when I post more videos. Bye guys!